All right, now we're going to cover data types. Data is stored differently depending on what it represents when programming. For example, a number is going to be stored as a different data type than a letter is. There are five basic data types in R that each store a single value. First is numeric. This is the default type for numbers, and this consists of two subtypes, either doubles or integers. The second data type is complex. This type is created by using the imaginary variable i. The third data type is character. This is the type used for storing non-numeric text data. Fourth is a logical, sometimes referred to as Boolean. This data type will store either true or false. And then the last data type is called raw. This is used less often, but will store data as raw bytes. Let's explore the double data type by assigning a number to a variable and then check its type by using the type of function. Alternatively, we can use the is.double function to check whether or not the variable is a double. So let me copy over this example. So we have a variable named x and we assign it a value of 6.2. Let's run that. And we see the type of is returned as double. Now let's try the is.double function and we get a true. Now, one other thing we can do is use the is.numeric function to check whether or not x is a numeric value. And we also get true. So the reason that is.numeric can be true and is.double can be true is that double is a subset of the numeric data type. Next, let's explore the integer data type by assigning a whole number followed by the capital letter L to a variable and then check its type using the type of function. We can also use the is.integer function to check whether or not the variable is an integer. So we have a variable named x that we assign the value 6L to. So let's run that type of is integer. And then we can check again by using the is.integer function, and we should get true. Finally, we'll use the is.numeric to validate that it is a numeric value. And once again, those can both be true because integer is a subset of numeric data types. Complex data types make use of the mathematical concept of an imaginary number through the use of the lowercase letter i. Let's take a look at an example. So this example sets x equal to 6 times i and then displays the type of x. So we run that and we get the type is complex. Next we have character. Character data types store text data. When you create characters, make sure you always wrap your text in quotation marks. Here's an example of that. So we say x is equal to hello, note the quotations, and then we're going to check the type with the type of function, and we get character. Logical data types store either true or false, and unlike characters, these data should not be wrapped in quotation marks. So here we say x is equal to true, and then we're going to check the type, and we get logical. Alternatively, we could say x is equal to false, and we get the same thing there. Finally, we have the raw data type. This is used less often, uh, but the raw data type will store data as raw bytes. You can convert character data types to raw data types by using the char to raw function. And similarly, you can convert integer data types to raw data types through the use of int to bits function. So let's see what this looks like. So this example, we set x equal to char to raw function on the character data, hello. Let's print that out and see what it looks like. So instead of getting the raw character data, we get this character data that's converted to raw bytes. We can run, check the type of, and we see the type is raw. And then similarly for uh, numeric data, we can run the same thing and then 
type of x is raw. Uh, 